What's up, y'all? This your girl, G with the T. If this your first time here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's help the channel grow. Okay, y'all, we're going to talk about Peach McIntyre. This morning, she up early on her Zoom, going in on social media. She started off by talking about her having a gambling addiction, actually admitting to her gambling addiction, and admitting going broke back this last April to this past. Around that time, she going to say how she started doing a, um, a bundle deal with her social media bundle and start selling classes again. And I can remember around that time, then she was talking about how she had to sell her car. I can kind of remember a little bit around that time because I can remember when she had the big altercation that the Peach Patch would know about not that long after that, the big thing that took place in a restaurant where one of her um, customers had confronted her publicly because she was a normal lady on social media and she refused to give back um, refunds even after she canceled her mindset class over this past summer. She had a social media class going. She canceled it for her own personal reasons, things she had going on personal and did not get the people back the refund and let her tell it because she was broke from her gambling addiction, which a lot of she got a lot of backlash about that because that was not good business. And of course, the customer should not have to suffer because you have a gambling addiction. You should not spend people money without doing a service a lot of people had a lot of backlash about that and it was the cocky attitude that she had when she was going on her social media disrespecting her fans just like she was doing again today she loved using the h-o-e word she loved calling her fans h-o-e's i just think the shit not cool she's if somebody actually one of her friend her fans actually confronted her from using custom words and she actually said that's how she taught that was her excuse for talking to her fans like that, which was very disrespectful in my opinion. Um, that's not how you should talk to your supporters because everybody do not take that word nicely and it can be took at in a negative way because everybody want to be, people want to call out their name like that is just so disrespectful in my opinion, especially to your fans. But anyway, at least she did took some accountability for having a gambling addiction. So I think that was a, that's the start. Um, change start with you. Her actually acknowledging she have a gambling addiction and then she was trying to become a millionaire at the casino and it just not worked in her favor. So she kept playing more and more money. Um, and this very well can be anybody. You can lose it, everything when you have a gambling addiction. If you don't know when to pull away, um, it can be very, very bad in your life. And it can be very addictive if you don't know how to stop. So you have to be very careful when you go to the gamble to a casino. Remember, the casino don't work for you. The casino is in it to make money. They gonna give you a little bit so you can keep coming back. If you just want her to have fun for people who like that type of entertainment, that's one thing. And I think that's what she was actually saying in her video. You gotta go there when it's just for fun. You cannot have the mindset that you wanna get rich by going to the casino. They don't let you be richer than them. That's the false thinking the narrative a lot of people put in their head when they usually go to the casino who have gambling addictions or oh, i'm gonna blow up i'm gonna get big at the casino they don't let you get bigger than them they'll let you take a few wins home but trust me you now be bigger in the casino so you will see a lot of people want to commit suicide want to you know end it all lose every fucking thing down there I don't see people lost wives and husbands marriages families because of that gambling addiction that's why it's so important to get yourself some help. A gambling addiction is no different than any other type of addiction. It's no different than a, a drug addiction. It's no dinner, different than any other type of addiction. You could lose everything with a gambling addiction, especially if you don't have no control over it because you could start, but you know you'll be gambling your rent money, betting on the table. And I done saw people in real time do shit like this, lose everything because of that gambling addiction. So that's why it's so important to get yourself some help and just know change start with you. You know what I mean? So that's why I just feel like it was a good subject to talk on a gambling addiction and just hearing her speak out about it and how she started to take a little accountability for her gambling addiction. That's great for her. Hope she continue to get herself some help, y'all. But again, this your girl, Drew with the T. If this your first time here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Till next time, y'all be safe out there.